All right, so my teching spot has been all cleared off. There is absolutely nothing to tech except this came in yesterday. And I was uh, excited about it because it's an ICS split gearbox, supposedly. And uh, this doesn't look like it's packaged too well. I think it's smashed. I guess what do you guess at the post office? So let's pull this out first. And hopefully that didn't get too messed up, but um, it doesn't look like it. There are ways to test that, so. scissors aside and he does have the stock in here I was wondering if he was even going to get that in here ah. mm, I think he said this is an ICS sport line quality is not bad for an ICS gun I've, I've always talked about ICS guns but I've never actually owned one I, you know I always thought maybe the split gearbox design would be pretty badass And there it is for sure, it's a split gearbox design. Looks like the sector gear might be a tiny bit too loose. Um, he said he could hear grinding on this and I think part of that is because the sector gear doesn't look like it has too much space. It looks like uh, the spur gear might be too not, it's not tight, but it's definitely not spaced properly. That's what it looks like, so I may have to look through there. I don't know if these are uh, custom gears that maybe don't go to this. I'm not sure. i got to hold this with my left hand. Um, and the reason for that being is I hurt my right shoulder somehow, my right arm. So I don't really don't have any uh, strength in my right hand right now. It's been like this for a week. So I might have to go to the doctor and get that checked out. Hopefully not. Looks like an SHS piston. This is pretty interesting. This is heavy. And this looks like this is made to uh, close and rack open. This looks very well made. Uh, there looks like there's some dremeling in here or some removal to make space. That's what it looks like. Um, this looks very well made. Uh, if this is an ICS Sportline, wow, I might consider this over a G&G &G Sportline, but this uh, should open that. Probably does if I were to hold it correctly, because it's not you know closed properly. Um, so those are pretty heavy. Is there anything else in this gear in this box? I'll have to look in a second. Uh, uh, it uses a hex screw to get in the back. Um, you know, this is going to be a little bit different because when you shim something like this, you got to understand that the gears come up into the uh, tappet plate, so you need to check uh, resistance with the tappet plate. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to remove this assembly except for the tappet plate. Uh, check that and then check the piston uh, for movement correctly. That looks like maybe an SHS spring. I'm not sure what the ICS springs would look like. Uh, being that this is my first ICS gun to be worked on, but uh, I'm pretty sure I can do some great things on this uh, from looking at this because <clears throat> Similar to my, this is similar to the gearbox that I cut up for my demo work kind of stuff to show to people, you know, how the shimming should be. So I have, I'm pretty sure this is not going to be a big issue or anything. Might need some like rewiring or something I don't know yet. Ooh. So it looks like in the stock. <laughs> So, um, let's go ahead and just take off the stock, I guess. Try to be careful. I'm not real sure if this has to come off a certain way. There is a hex screw in the back, but uh, it just comes out like that, it looks like. Well, that's weird. And the back looks like there's um, 
metal gold prongs in there. That's strange. Maybe it used to work like that, I don't know. And then it looks like there's some kind of, I'm not sure if this is a fuse or a MOSFET uh, hooked up here, but it's weird. The screw is here somewhere. It's not all the way down, it looks like. Maybe it just doesn't seem like that to me. I have to say though, I'm pretty impressed with an ICS uh, gun already. I've heard ICS get some bad rap for not being TM compatible, but let's get realistic here that this might be badass after all, I don't know. You know, I have to mess with it. Knock the pin over by accident. This seems like it might be kind of a pain to get out. Nope. And right here, which is strange, uh, it's the way it's made. It's like soldered. I don't know if you can see it. There's like solder right there. And why can't I move this? Just because it's caught. Maybe you have to disconnect from this side to get it out. Not really sure yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move everything out and then uh, start looking at this gun. Look at that. PCR 97. Olympic arms. Feels heavy as heck. That's what I can say. Uh, maybe it's my arm, but uh, no, this feels heavy. <clears throat> this is going to be pretty interesting, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and take it apart.